Welcome! It is Palladio season. So, it's May 24th weekend, uh, Victoria Day, which uh, CBC Comedy uh, posted a hilarious meme this morning on Instagram, Happy Victoria Day, and it was Victoria Beckham. So, I stand that. So, we're about a little bit of a month and a week away from Canada Day, so we are about to brew our Canada Day beer, and we're calling it Pladio Season. Uh, last year's was called Plaid You Came. Um, and we're trying something very, very, very different. Um, we're basically not following, we're taking a recipe, we're not really, and we're making like a Frankenstein kind of beer, I think. Uh, this is kind of Aaron's idea, so please tell us what we're brewing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to be doing a Partridge Berry Sour Session Ale. Okay, I thought IPA, but... Well, it's going to be more session territory. Right? Yes. Because well, I was... acid kind of lowers attenuation. So we won't beans. get as... Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> yes. So my, the my plan. Will be yeah. So my plan was to do a session beer, um, and then I was thinking, ooh, session IPA. Uh, so maybe it's not an IPA. Maybe it's an ale. Uh, it's gonna be a little hoppy. But okay. Cool. So uh, I'll change that in our little book to session ale. But basically, I wanted uh, summer patios and drinking. Uh, so we're thinking the partridge berry might turn it a little red for Canada Day. Which would be cool. We um, got a lot of partridge berries too. Thank yeah. you, Jamie. Yes. We love you. Uh, we've <laughs> given lots of shout outs to Jamie before, but uh, if you are not familiar with the Port Rexon retail shop, which surprisingly some people are not, uh, you need to go there and you need to see Jamie because uh, she's she lovely. awesome. Um, Good her. Yes. Although I think she just buys cookies out of her tech yeah. So, But I mean, if she wants cookies, then great. Uh, and today we're gonna be drinking beer from across the country. Uh, so I'm starting with uh, Big Rock Brewery's Grasshopper Wheat Ale, which kind of makes me a little nervous with the thought of grasshoppers being in here. I don't think so. Fresh from the prairie hops, fre fresh from the prairie hoppers with his wheat ale. It's crisp finish, balancing its soft sweety, uh, sweetness sorry, with fruity and bready notes. It's it's tasty, it uh, smelled like, uh, this is available at NLC right now, it smelled like uh, Nan's bread coming out of the oven, um, really nice and bready. I will, like, it's fun to drink, but uh, I kind of like some fruit in my wheat ale, so I like my wheat ale to be a little fruity. You know, I'm drinking <laughs> Hazy IPA from Nickelbrook, they're in Burlington, Ontario. Oh, right, Big Rock. I didn't say they are in the prairies of uh, Alberta, I think. Oh, wait, they got multiple. Oh, Burlington, oh, wow. Well. Calgary, Alberta, Vancouver, BC, and Toronto. Oh, Alberta. see, they're probably owned by a macro company. Some people wouldn't like that. Yes. Um, so you have, I got uh, a Hazy IPA, Lost Nova, I love space. Yeah, we posted this on our Instagram recently. Yeah, and it's, I would suggest like rolling the can, I know that's super douchey to say, oh, yeah. but it, a lot of the haze gets stuck in the bottom and you don't get the full taste at that at first. Uh, but it's really good, 4.5%, it's really crushable, delicious, and it has a cool can. Yes, a super cool can, and a little, um, Fun fact, uh, my mom did Ancestry DNA and found a guy who is a cousin of ours who works there, but then she just told me that he no longer works there. So, uh, I don't know him anyway, but a uh, shout out to Nickelbrook Cousin. Working on a badass uh, Canada playlist. Uh, I think some like old, oldies, some newsies, would you call it that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I like musics, but uh, so Aaron is still nursing his uh, hazy IPA. Uh, I have moved from Calgary or Toronto or BC, depending on where that one was brewed, to Hamilton, Ontario. Do you know? Um, in our class, well, mm -hmm. see the bird on the camera. See the bird with the I think so. 
Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm drinking from Hamilton, Ontario. Collective Arts, Life in the Clouds. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite beers, like all time favorites. So great, so great. Go to you all the time. Uh, earlier, Aaron, you had a uh, IPA number 16 from them, correct? Great. Uh, don't just have vaginas. Okay, wow. Uh, well, we are an open and accepting group here, so there you go. Um, so we're about to uh, do some deep diving on Avril Lavigne right now and figure out which Avril song is going to go onto our playlist. So you'll have to uh, check us out on Spotify to find out which one we see. So we're starting the spurgeon process, which is at a very inopportune time because uh, we just ordered some smoked poutinery because you can't make a Canada Day beer without having poutine. And deep fried cheese curd. Yes, uh, I'm gonna heat up some pizza sauce for the You You can't wait, can you? Or are you doing that now? Um, so, how's the brew coming? I'm interested in what's going to happen. We're adding lactic acid, and uh, that's there's some like no nos on some brewery things because it's not like some people call it cheating. Uh, but our souring process has not really turned out the best. Um, what poutine did you get, sir? I got tater tots. Tater tots. Yum. I have a uh, boneless. Buffalo chicken wing routine. So bring that on. Let's get the sparging done. Um, do you have any um, fun Canada Day memories? We like had a good night before and we have super hungover where she was going to your parents, but we stopped the game both before. Yes. And then uh, I think the year after we stopped and got the one where they had the bit, bits of French toast mm -hmm. on top of it with maple syrup. So that was a that was a great one. And uh, one year I saw Our Lady Peace on George Street on Canada Day. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Canada Day is always fun because it's the day after my birthday. And uh, do you realize, sir, this could be our season finale because. Um, we don't often brew something in the summer. Sometimes we do. Um, so our next one will be our Beyonce beer, which is always the start of our new season. Um, but I think, I don't know what you think about this. I think I'm going to try to uh, film a uh, birthday party vlog. So uh, people will be tasting, they'll be tasting this one. Uh, it'll be ready just in time, and they will be tasting our uh, Mosaic Wit uh, with champagne yeast, and uh, there'll be some Calm Mom there as well, and uh, so that'll be kind of fun, and uh, we're going to place an order from Good Robot, so we just, uh, in our last video, talked about placing an order for, for Two Crows, so we... Uh, I think what we're gonna do that night at our birthday is like have a blind box kind of thing where we uh, just reach into a cooler and we're gonna try a beer. So we'll do like a live drunken uh, beer review during that. Uh, so here we go. I'm hoping that this process goes by relatively quickly so that I can eat my poutine. So here is my poutine. Ooh, that buffalo chicken is a little spicy. Uh, so I was saying I love that it's basically an appetizer of, um, of boneless wings, and then you have a poutine, which is so good. Um, true North Strong and Free, am I right? Currently, I'm drinking what just came out this past weekend, Fort Rexton. We're back in Newfoundland. It's Blazing Sun Double in the IPA. 
Now, Aaron, I uh, decided that this was, uh, our, when I first tried this, I said it was like a cross between Chasing Sun and Com Tom. Would you, uh, would you say the same? Yeah. I get where you're going. <laughs> uh, he was more agreeable um, less beers in and a few days ago. Uh, but you can see on the back wall here, that's all our beer. So that we have brewed. We are actually missing uh, Com Mom's label and the uh, our birthday label. And this Platio season, Aaron, you might want to turn around for this one, is beer number 25. So uh, if this ends up being our season finale, um, this season we brewed uh, the Beyonce uh, Honey Coffee Porter. We did the Mosaic Wit. Uh, with Kvike and Mango. Then we did uh, Festive Fruit Cakes. Um, I think next was the Yoda Bison, if I can yep. see that. Oh, no, sorry. Before Festive Fruit Cakes was Lady Gaga, uh, the Just Dance Any IPA. Then it was Yoda Bison. Then it was our Sucky Sour. Come Mom, followed by, which we can't comment on the uh, Champagne, Mosaic Wit, or this one. But uh, what do you think was uh, our best beer so far this season, uh, aside from the two that we have not tried yet? Ooh, okay. I uh, I think I'm going to go with the Yoda Bison because uh, we, yeah, it was, and we basically, I, I feel like that was our first recipe that we essentially came up with ourselves. Yeah. You know, and uh, the people who tried it at our last beer tasting loved it. Uh, people were like, this is the best thing ever. So, um, yeah, look forward to next year. I had the idea the other day to make a Teenage Mutant Yoda Bison Nazi Hunter. So I think there's going to be uh, lots of animation marketing going on with this one. And uh, it should be enjoyable. But... Uh, cheers to poutines and cheers to Canada Day. Uh, cheers to the end of another season, which again, I think we'll have a bonus episode of our birthday parties. Uh, but I gotta order that good robot beer now. Ooh, look at that butt. Uh, we are about to add the hops. Aaron, uh, what's your hop schedule? Uh, 15.45. So we're doing, at 15, we're doing uh, Chinook hops because if you've done any Canadian geography, you know about a Chinook. Um, then we're going with uh, Centennial and Chinook. Um, Centennial kind of reminds me of Canada's Bicentennial from a couple years ago. Uh, and then we got Sabro, which is a new one that we picked up recently. Uh, you want to read that out to, to the viewers? Aromatic, uh, citrusy and fruity flavors. It starts to sink in. So, yes, please. So I think that, uh, when do you think you're going to add the partridge berry? Uh, Fermenter? Ooh, see, I knew, I knew something for a change. Um, there was something else I was going to ask you. Do you have any good uh, patio stories? Right, right. Banged into the. It was. So the glass at the patio in Bakalu had, or sorry, Split Rock had like clear, and it was trying to get off. Uh, it was a gull, a seagull, and it was trying to leave, and it was having some trouble. But do you remember the weird gull that was diving constantly at Bakalu? Yeah. So that one was funny. Uh, I have a good patio story. Just before, uh, I think it was my 28th birthday, myself and Kim, who uh, you'll probably see on our uh, season finale taster vlog, uh, we went to Jungle Gyms and we sat out on the deck and it was a hot, sunny day and we burned. She burned horribly. Um, 
And when it came time for my birthday party, she just wanted to wear a sheet because she was so burned and so uncomfortable. Uh, so, sunscreen up, folks, even in Canada. Here we go. I hope it was enough to put in the Yeah, well, that is what, uh, that is what the Google told you. It, she's turning red, which is... Yep. Which, yeah, which one we want. Uh, I'm cool with it being like a tart session ale if it doesn't turn out super sour. What do you think? I don't want to be like really sick and be like, this is sour, and it's not even sour. Well, we won't do that. We'll taste it before we officially make the uh, label. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Um, we are now planning... <laughs> We're now planning our... Um, joint birthday party and uh, where this beer will be tasted so 